Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, hope you are fine by the grace of the Almighty. So today I am here from Live Event Jaffe Stake and today I am here for class 3 English version students. So dear students, our today's subject is math and our today's topic is what problem? And our today's page is page 73. So dear students, today I am going to show you some word problems from page 73. So let's start. So here is our first word problem from page 73. So let's read it out. There are 10 benches in a class. Five students can be seated in each of the six benches. Four students can be seated in each of the remaining four benches. How many students can be seated all together in 10 benches? So how many students can be seated all together in 10 benches? So dear students, at first we can see that there are 10 benches and in 6 benches on each, 5 students can sit and in another 4 benches, 4 students can sit in each one. So we have to find out how many can sit in those 10 benches. So here is the solution. In 6 benches, here we can see that 5 students can sit in 1, so 5 into 6. That is, in six benches, 30 students can sit. And, and in four benches, here we can see four students can sit in one bench. So four into four, 16 students can sit. So in total, 46 students can sit. Answer, 46 students can sit in 10 benches. So student, this is the first word problem. Now let's go to our second word problem. So here is the question. Shukumar gets Taka 90 per month scholarship. He gave Brina Taka 95 from his 12 month scholarship. How much money remains with him? So here is the answer. Shukumar gets in one month Taka 90. So he gets in 12 months Taka 90 into 12 that is Taka 1080. And he gave to Redna Taka 95. So remaining Taka 985. So, Taka 985 remains with Shukumar. So, this is the second question. Now, let's go through the third word problem. So, here, there are 74 leeches in a packet. There are 70 leeches in another pack basket. Sorry. The leeches of the two baskets are put together and distributed equally among eight parcels. How many leeches does each person get? In a basket there are 74 leeches and in another basket there are 70 leeches. So total if we add then we get 144 leeches. So 8 persons got 144 leeches. So each person got 144 divided by 8 leeches is equal to 18 leeches. So if so each person will get 18 leeches. So this is the third word problem. Now let's go through the fourth word problem. Tahmina bought a packet of 50 balloons. From them she kept 8 balloons for her. Remaining balloons were given equally among 8 friends. How many balloons does Tahmina each friend get? So here Tahmina bought 50 balloons. She kept for her 8 balloons. So remaining 42 balloons. Now 8 friends got 42 balloons and each friend got if we divide 42 by 8 we get 5 and 2 remaining. So 5 balloons and 2 remaining. Answer. So each friend we got 5 balloons with 2 remaining. So this is the fourth word problem. Now next let's go to our next one. Each of 30 persons gave Taka 80 as subscription for food flood victims. The total money received was distributed equally among 10 flood victims. How many Taka did each get? So here, one person gave Taka 80 and th so 30 persons gave Taka 80 into 30 is equal to Taka 2040 because 0 two zero have, we have put a two zeros and 3 into 8 is equal to 24. So, Taka 2040 and 10 flood victims got Taka 2040, 2400 and each flood victims got Taka, if we, we have to divide this 2400 by 10, that is, is equal to Taka 240. 
So each flood victims will get taka 240. So this is the fit for problem. Now let's go to our next one. The mother's present age is three times that of the son. At present, mother's age is 45 years. What is son's present age? So let's see. Mother's age is three times of son's age. So that means mother's age is 45 and son's age will be 45 divided by 3 as it is mother's age present is 3 times of son's age. So 15 years. So son's present age is 15 years. Now let's go through our next word problem. So here is our seventh word problem. Shuroma sold 6 dozen eggs at the rate of Taka 90 per dozen. From what she got, she spent Taka 85 in the market. The remaining amount she deposited in the bank. What amount did she deposited in the bank? So let's see. So at first we have got that each dozen eggs cost Taka 90. So we have to find the amount of 6 dozen eggs. That is Taka 19 to 6 is equal to Taka 540. And Shuroma spent Taka 85 in the market. So if we subtract 85 from 540, then we get 445. So Shuroma deposited Taka 445 in the bank. So this is the answer of this question. So here is our last question of today's video. The father's present age is four times that of the girl. Four years ago, the girl's age was six years. What is the father's present age? So here we see. Four years ago, the age of the girl was six years. So her present age is six plus four years. Because it was uh, before four years, he was six. So at present, he is ten years. Now, so father's age is ten into four, that is forty years. So student, this is the answer of this question. So dear students, that's all for today. Hope you have liked the video. If you like the video, then don't forget to like, comment, and also don't forget to share. And for new videos, must subscribe our channel. So that's all for today. Assalamu alaikum.